Today we're going to teach you how to use a voltmeter properly. This is a non-auto ranging manual style voltmeter. And today we're going to learn about voltage, amperage, and resistance and how to take each. So for the first example, we're going to show you how to read voltage. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your leads, put the negative in the black or COM com hole, take your red lead, put it into the voltage hole, Take your voltmeter, since it's a manual, and you're going to dial it in to voltage DC, and we're going to set it on one of the lower settings. So what we're going to do, take our reading. If we happen to get a negative reading, as if your volt leads were switched, you will get a negative symbol that will appear. All you have to do is either ignore the negative sign or switch your leads to get your positive reading. Now, with, since it's a manual, if I want to read one decimal point, I will turn it up one. Now you see I'm getting 12.5. If I switch it back to the lower side setting, I can actually read one more decimal point, so now I know I have a proper reading. Next is going to be resistance. The lower the number of resistance, the easier electrical current can flow within a circuit. So we're going to leave the volt leads in the same holes. There's no need to move them. We're going to take our dial. We're going to put it on ohms which is the omega symbol, and we're going to put it on the low side setting first. Since this is manual, you have to dial in if you want ohms, kilo ohms, or mega ohms. Once you dial that in, go to the circuit you're wanting to test, one end on each end of the cables, and now you've taken your resistance reading, and I have it in ohms. If I want to know kilo ohms, I can do the conversion in my head, or I can just simply switch the dial, and I can get my reading that way. The cable you're taking a resistance reading on doesn't have to be connected to a circuit. You can actually take a reading of resistance through the cable that you're wanting to put on the truck. The last thing is amperage. For this style voltmeter, we have a fused max amp setting. So we're going to take our red lead, put it over in the fused hole. We're going to leave our black com lead in the, in the hole that it's currently in. And we're going to take our dial and we're going to set it to amperage DC fused, which is the low milliamp setting. If I wanted to read amps, I can just switch it over to amps, or I can want to read milliamps, I'm going to take it right back. So now we're going to perform a basic parasitic draw test, which is where you would want to use this style of voltmeter. So we're going to disconnect the negative cable of the battery, one voltmeter lead to the cable end, one voltmeter lead to the stud of the battery, which puts the voltmeter in between the battery and the cable, and we get our reading. That's the low amperage side. If you have any questions on how to perform anything we discussed today, please visit our website at delcoremi.com or call the number on your screen.